New developments now in the case against a former Gwinnett County Commissioner. Kevin Kennerly was charged with taking bribes while he was in office, and today he struck a deal with prosecutors. CBS 46's Renee Starzig joins us from the courthouse, and Renee, I understand this case has dragged on for years. That's right, and the DA here in Gwinnett County tells me he was prepared to go to trial, but then there was a wrinkle in this high-profile case. Kevin Kennerly's wife got very sick and could die. Kevin Kennerly went before a judge today, pleading no contest to charges he took a million dollars in bribes for a land deal while he was a Gwinnett County Commissioner. And at the end of the day, I mean, Kevin was innocent, and we would have proved that ultimately if we had our, had our day in court. Kennerly's attorney made it clear the plea deal does not mean he's guilty. He says Kennerly is tired of fighting. His wife has stage four breast cancer, and he must help take care of their four children. I always tell the kids, you never give up. But in this case, why should I lay in the bed at nights and want to discuss my case when my wife's case is not a case, but that disease? That's worth fighting for more and spending more of my efforts toward that than sitting around coming to court all the time trying to fight something like this. Kennerly will avoid jail time and be on probation for 10 years. District Attorney Danny Porter says he knows some will criticize him, saying he went easy on the former commissioner. But Porter says he considered all the facts in the case and the health of Kennerly's wife. I think. We resolved the case and took an albatross from around the neck of the county. Uh, there are going to be people who disagree with it, but given the condition of his wife and given the condition of the case and, and everything else I had to take into account, uh, what, is it, what is it, the definition of a compromise is nobody's happy. I now, Kennerly must also pay $10,000 in fines. Since the bribery allegations first surfaced years ago, Gwinnett County has tightened up the way it does business. We are live in Lawrenceville. Renee Starzik, CBS 46 News. Today